Hi, this is Helal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will solve a numerical on the applications of the matrix algebra or linear algebra in economics. Now, the question is given y that is income is equal to c plus i0, where c is the consumption and i is the investment, and here it is autonomous investment. Where c is equal to c0, that is the autonomous consumption, plus b times y where B is the marginal propensity to consume and Y is the disposable income. Now use matrix inversion to find equilibrium level of Y and C. Now we have to use the matrix inversion that is inverse of the matrix to find the value of Y and C. Now here one thing is to be remembered this Y income consumption and uh, this marginal propensity to consume these are the endogenous variables the variables which are determined within the system within the system are called endogenous variables and the variables which are determined ex uh, outside the system these are called exogenous variables that is they are the fixed ones here in this case so we don't determine them they are already determined outside the system now we take the endogenous variables and uh, the endogenous variables are here y c and b we take these variables on the lhs side and the exogenous variables on rhs side that is if y is equal to c plus i zero i transpose this c on the lhs so that the endogenous variables are on lhs that is y minus c is equal to i zero similarly here this c is endogenous and this by is also uh, endogenous now i take this by on left hand side so this will become minus b y and plus c plus c is equal to c0 so these are the exogenous variables or the constants here and these are the variables now we will form a matrix as we have seen in earlier video we will express these in matrix form that is uh, express so i will write express them in matrix form matrix form and we know that matrix form is given by a x is equal to b here a is the coefficient matrix x is the solution vector and b is the vector of constant terms now here we will see the coefficients of y's and c's this will form the matrix uh, that is coefficient matrix here the coefficient of y is 1 and here the coefficient of y is minus b similarly here the coefficient of c is minus 1 and the coefficient of c is here 1 now here Uh, the solution vector is that is x that is um, y and c we have to found, uh, find this y this is the solution vector here is equal to the vector of constants here the vector of constants is that is exogenous variables i0 and c0 now we have to find the determinant of this coefficient matrix that is the determinant of the coefficient matrix is given by a this very simple now multiplying these two uh, multiplying the elements on the principal diagonal that is one into one one into one and subtracting from it the principal uh, the elements on the non-principal diagonal that are minus b times minus one now this will become one one zero one now minus minus is plus and plus my uh, plus minus is minus so this is minus B. so this is our implies our determinant is 1 minus b now we have to form the cofactor matrix that is the cofactor matrix is formed by replacing every element of the original matrix by its cofactors the procedure is to find the cofactor of the first element we mentally delete the row and the column in which the first element appears uh, and take determinant of the remaining elements now if we delete this row and this column we are with this one 
Similarly, the cofactor of second element is we delete the row and the column in which it appears and take the determinant of the remaining elements that is minus b here. Similarly, for third, we delete the row and the column we get here minus 1. And similarly, for fourth, we delete the row and the column. So we got this 1. Now we are not done with the coefficient sorry cofactor matrix we have to give them sign now the sign for the first matrix is given by we see the address of the first element that is the address is here a11 to see the sign we take minus 1 and raise it to the power of the addition of the subscript that is 1 plus 1 that is minus 1 raised to the power 2 since 2 is even therefore minus 1 raised to an even power gives us plus 1 so the so the sign for first element is plus now this is the second element now the address of this element is position is a12 now the um, the sign is given by minus 1 raised to the power of the addition of the subscript is that is 1 plus 2 so this is minus 1 raised to power 3 since minus 1 raised to an odd power is always minus so here it will be minus so this minus we get from the law cofactor now for this th third element it comes at since it is a a11 a12 this is a21 this is a 2 1 now the sign here will be minus 1 raised to the power of the addition of matrix subscript that is 2 plus 1 so here we also get this 3 so here also uh, uh, the sign will be minus because minus 1 raised to an odd power is always minus so I will write here minus it is now for fourth it is at a 2 2 that is a 2 2 now similarly minus 1 raised to the power of the addition of the subscript is that is 2 plus 2 this is minus 1 raised to the power 4 now uh, minus 1 raised to an even power is always positive so here the sign is minus and here it is positive so we will not write because it is already here positive therefore the cofactor matrix will be will become that is this is 1 1 this is minus minus plus b this will become uh, b now this is minus minus plus that is 1 and 1 so this is our cofactor matrix now we have to find the adjoint matrix for that we have to find the transpose now the transpose of this matrix is that is c dash is equal to for transpose we replace column row with column or interchange columns with rows that is if this is here row it will become column so this will become 1 b and if this is row this will become column so transpose is nothing but interchanging rows with columns now adjoint is given by as we have seen in earlier videos adjoint a is equal to transpose of the cofactor matrix which we are we got here that is 1 1 b 1 so adjoint is equal to the transpose of the cofactor matrix that is c dash is equal to 1 b and 1 1 now we have to find the inverse that is inverse is equal to the a this is the symbol for inverse now inverse is given by 1 divided by the determinant and multiplying this with the adjoint a adjoint a now our determinant is that we have calculated that is equal to 1 minus b so I will write here 1 minus b and I will multiply this with the adjoint a that is this matrix that is 1 b 1 1 so this is our inverse now the formula for finding the solution vector that is given by x is equal to a inverse 
multiplying this with the vector of constant terms because here this a this a is the coefficient matrix this b uh, is this sorry this x is the solution vector and this p is the vector of constant terms so i will put the value now the x is x is this y and c that we are supposed to find that is y c this is the column vector now our inverse is this whole thing that is 1 divided by 1 minus b uh, multiplying this with 1 b 1 1 and multiplying this whole by this solution of that is uh, a column vector of constant values that is i0 and c0 here that is i0 and c0 so this is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus b now multiplying these two matrices here multiplication is only possible when the two matrices are conformable that is the number of elements in a uh, row in the first matrix must be equal to the number of elements in the column here the number of elements in the row are 1 2 here the number of elements in the column are 1 2 so these two matrices are conformable and we can multiply them that is we multiply the first row with this column that is 1 into i0 plus 1 into c0 1 sorry this is 1 into c0 now multiplying the second row with this column this will become b into i0 i0 plus 1 into c0 1 into uh, c0 now this is equal to that is 1 divided by 1 minus b so this will become i0 plus c0 similarly this will become b i0 plus uh, uh, plus here it is c0 because it is 1 here so i will write this 1 into c0 that is c0 so now further multiplying now this is the first element and we have to multiply each element by 1 divided by oh sorry 1 minus b that is our matrix will be like i0 plus c0 divided by 1 minus b this is the first element similarly we have to divide this element by 1 minus b that is b i0 plus c0 divided by 1 minus b so implies our y c that is the solution vector is equal to i0 plus c0 divided by 1 minus b and another is b i 0 plus c 0 divided by 1 minus b which implies which implies implies y is equal to so the y is equal to this corresponding element the value of y is i 0 plus c 0 divided by 1 minus b and the value of c is and c is equal to b i 0 plus c 0 divided by 1 sorry 1 minus b so these are the values of uh, y and c here so this is how we use the matrix algebra in solving the linear equations so for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share if you like this video thank you